right there. Om. Hello, and welcome to the live stream. It's Mike Russell here from musicradiocreative.com. Super to have you here, uh, whether you're tuning in live or watching on the replay. If you are watching on the replay, this is uh, the sort of pre-show chat for eight and a half minutes where I just chat to people in the live chat room and get ready to go on. But of course, you can skip ahead if you're watching this on replay. Uh, eight minutes and 30 seconds will take you to the content directly, if that's something you would appreciate and like. It's a radio imaging tutorial today. Gonna have some fun. I've got some really cool um, imaging cuts that I'm ready to cut up, do crazy vocal effects on and things like that, all inside Adobe Audition. I'll also show you a cool, cool toy that I'm playing with um, to do things like beat mixes and and images uh, for music to demo the kind of music your radio station plays. So uh, that's coming up as well. Hello to you watching on Twitch. I can see a few uh, tuning in via Twitch now. It's always nice to see that platform expanding. Not my main platform at twitch.tv slash musicradiocreative. Um, but yeah, good to see a few of you tuning in. Don't be shy in the chat room. Say hello. Look, I'll, I'll get things started by saying hello in the Twitch chat. There you go. <laughs> Post something nice. Uh, got obviously the, the YouTube live uh, crowd in now starting to arrive. We don't go on Facebook until the top of the hour, uh, so we can wait a little bit longer for the Facebook crowd to join us, as they usually do. Periscope's live, though. Hello to you if you're watching on Periscope right now. So, yeah, big radio imaging tutorial fest today. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, what's going on in the live chat? David Silk was in first, first and foremost, saying, anyone home? We are here. We are live. We are broadcasting. Mike Russell is controlling transmission. Thank you for confirming that. David Hunter's in with a spanner as well. Uh, so two moderators, David H and David S, ready to go. Mark Reed's in. Chris Kane saying good morning from Rhode Island, USA. Alejandro. Nice to see you, Alejandro. Although I think uh, Nightbot wasn't too impressed that you wrote everything in capital letters there. But I can see your message says, Hola, and greetings from Cancun in Mexico. Learned much with you. Thank you, Alejandro. Uh, really nice to have you watching today. Just be careful with the caps there. <laughs> Our automated moderator isn't a fan. Uh, Mark Reed, hi, hi. Mr. Mega Radio UK, nice to be back. Darren Altman's there, yes. Lip smacking, thirst quenching, hot rocking. Oh, can't wait. Nice to see you there, Darren. Uh, who else have we got? Abdulaziz Q saying, hello, Mike. Hello to you too. So like I say, don't be shy. Announce who you are and where you're tuning in from now. We're getting going in six minutes. Uh, but this is just the, the pre-show bit where I like to have a little chat with you. If you haven't already joined up to the uh, community over at community.musicradiocreative.com, some of the latest uh, threads there include chat about radio documentary, uh, some uh, shares here of branded intros. Remember, I did that yesterday on the stream, uh, also known as power intros. Uh, so I post there. Adapters, wireless headphones. Goodbye to the legend that was Tom Petty, a tribute posted in the community as well. Yeah, absolutely automation settings and more going on in the chat there stephanie boy's in nice to see you stephanie boy dj mcdaddy is logged in and logged on from nottingham stephanie's in from kenya it's nice to have you watching today from kenya and if you are new to the stream by the way if this is the first time you've tuned in uh then let me know by typing new N-E-W, all in capitals. MusicRadioCreative.com Hey, ZSF on YT, viewing from Bonnie, Scotland. Hey! Won't be too long, actually. The end of the month, uh, towards the end of this month, October, I will be taking about a, a week and a half off. Uh, as I'm going to Scotland, it's my brother's wedding! So I'm very excited, just outside of Edinburgh. That's where I'm heading to, and I, I really cannot wait. Love Scotland. Love it to bits. Very excited to be travelling up north from the Isle of Wight. Very north. <laughs> My pleasure to give you a mention, Stephanie Boy. So, yeah, keep the, uh, keep the comments coming in. This is your time to say hello, hello. Yeah, David Hunter. Are you in Scotland, David? I believe you are, aren't you? Whereabouts are you in Scotland? Or did I, did I get that information incorrect? I don't know. Did anyone catch the uh, Microsoft Mixed Reality event yesterday? 
So some of the big players like Dell, Asus, Lenovo, all launching these um, mixed and virtual reality headsets. I'm telling you, virtual reality, it was, it was getting into the mainstream in 2017. In 2018, it's totally going to go mainstream, uh, which is why very soon I hope to cover some audio for virtual reality environments in future tutorials. Uh, hopefully that will help you out. DJ McDaddy says, got to wear a kilt, Mike. Absolutely. Oh, David's in Presswick. Nice. Robert Red's in as well. Nice to see you, Robert Red. Isabella's joined us. Nice to have you, Isabella, with a spanner there, moderating away, which is very nice indeed. Do go tell your friends about this video, by the way. If you think someone you know in your contacts list, either on Facebook, Twitter, wherever, would benefit from watching a radio imaging tutorial, going to cover a lot of techniques from processing voices to make them sound crunchy crunchy and uh, also doing some music images and stuff like that a really cool hack by the way for finding compatible songs coming up uh, if you ever struggle with that finding the right songs uh, we'll we'll do something that uh, audacity zsf on yt not so much i do occasionally cover audacity but it's not really my bag i'm more of a, a paid creative cloud adobe audition user that's what i uh, use the most Hey Alejandro, uh, thank you very much for the kind comments. Sorry that Nightbot is timing you out, but is really not a fan of uh, writing in capital letters. If you could ease off on them a little bit, it would really help. So yeah, you can find Audacity tutorials on my YouTube channel for sure, youtube.com slash musicradiocreative. Bojan's here, hey! Yes indeed, Bojan tuning in from Croatia. Awesome radio station imager. Oh, by the way, Isabella, I know you're watching, and I'm really sorry to ask you this, but any chance of a hot water with lemon, please? <laughs> I forgot to make myself one again. I've got, I've got no lubrication for today's stream, and that could end up in disaster with me dehydrating. David's also just hopped over to uh, Twitch, I see. It's very keen of you, David. Yes. Not really enough people tuning in via Twitch at the moment to, uh, to warrant moderators in that chat, but... Uh, <laughs> All the same, it's nice of you to be there. Now, I do like Audacity, but uh, you can just do so much more with paid software like Adobe Audition or Logic if you want to work in music. Is Blue Yeti good for voiceover beginners? No, it's not. It's only just about good enough for podcasters. If you're a voiceover beginner, um, go for something from Audio Technica. You can get something pretty decent from them for a uh, hundred or a couple of hundred. Not Blue Yeti for voiceovers though, definitely not. Lewis Pikey, effective design, Mark Reed, hello, and get ready, here we go. Testing the left speaker, left. left. Testing the right speaker, right. right. Testing phaser, phaser, phaser. All frequency suite. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by for Music Radio Creative Live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music Radio Creative Live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds. Let's get into some radio imaging inside this live stream. I am so excited because this is one of my favourite topics. You can take the boy out of radio, <laughs> but you can't take the radio out of the boy, can you? Uh, so I'm going to be covering radio imaging. For those of you tuning in for the first time who are wondering what on earth I'm talking about, is that going around with uh, smartphones taking photos of radios? <laughs> radio imaging. Uh, yeah. Get asked that a lot from people not in the industry. Radio imaging is the art of making radio stations sound awesome by uh, manipulating voiceovers, making them sound really crunchy, uh, embedding them with loads, tons of sound effects, and just um, generally uh, just giving the image, the brand image of a radio station. We covered this a little bit yesterday. By the way, I look like I've, uh, I've escaped, don't I? <laughs> 
wearing this t-shirt today. <laughs> yes, he's on the loose again in his stripy t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, radio imaging. I touched on it uh, yesterday. Thank you so much, Isabella, by the way, for the... Um, uh, you see, she's really very kind to me. There's the fairy thumbs up. Uh, lovely hot water with lemon. I, I needed that for the start of the show. So, um, yeah, we did branded intros, music intros uh, yesterday, and we covered them in great depth. And I, I did the kind of thing with matching the radio station name and sung idents and bits like that to um, the sound of a song. Uh, we'll do a little bit more of that music imaging and bits like that. It's going to be really good fun. So I do hope that you can stick with me uh, for the whole of this live stream. And if you think it might be handy to someone, uh, do feel free to go out and share it with your friends, wherever you're watching, whether that be uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, wherever. Um, now, I did want to show you on my screen here. Look, I'm just loading up the uh, the YouTube channel here. And uh, as you can see, Radio Imaging Tutorials Live. But if you haven't subscribed yet to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do it. YouTube.com slash Music Radio Creative. Uh, we're up at uh, just over 74,000 uh, subscribers now, which is brilliant. And I did say as soon as that hits 100,000, going to be a massive uh, audio geek party. I am an audio geek. Yeah, I have to say it's true, uh, in London, uh, which is just, that's the uh, the place, the city nearest to me. Uh, but also there's a YouTube space up there. And uh, once you uh, hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, they allow you to host meetups there for free, uh, which, as you know, London is an expensive city. So if we can do a free meetup there, we need 100,000 subscribers, just, just over 25,000 more. And we're going to have that party. I know we can do it uh, in 2018 for sure. That is what I'm looking forward to. So youtube.com slash music radio creative. Also, I've got the community over at community.musicradiocreative.com for you to chat and geek out about audio. That's where we do all the fun stuff. And just the final thing before I start producing here inside Adobe Audition CC 2017, I would like to tell you that... We have a phone number as well. If you uh, fancied calling in and talking to me while I am live streaming, if I'm not live streaming, you just get an answer phone. But if I'm live streaming, you can call this phone number. It's a US phone number. 415-800-1055. And remember, at plus one, if you're outside the United States, usual call charges apply. Music Radio Creative. I really hope to hear from you today. I have the phone right here in the studio next to me, ready to pick up an answer if anyone should call. So that's plus one, 415-800-1055. If you just want to have a chat or if you want to just get online or ask a question about audio, anything like that. Uh, so uh, let's go straight into the multi-track of Adobe Audition and get find out with what we're going to do. Kiss... FM, uh, who we've been working with recently at Music Radio Creative. Make sure I've selected my MRC uh, Adobe Audition presets. You can get them yourself, by the way, at mrc.fm slash presets. That's mrc.fm slash presets. And I'm going to drag in, this is a double session here from uh, one of our artists called Sheldon, I believe. Let's have a listen to his voice. Armenia's in one hit music station. Armenia's number one. I like the way he said N1. <laughs> N1. <laughs> Armenia's number one hit music station. So that's Armenia's number one hit music station. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. And we're already adding effects just by the fact that I've got my presets loaded up. Uh, let me just take them off so you can hear. Multiband compressor off. Armenia's number one hit music station. And on. It's just a little bit of light compression. Nothing too harsh there. Parametric EQ. Armenia's number one hit... Hear how the voice goes flatter. So this is really picking up the high ends and taking, rolling off a bit of bass. Nothing too heavy there. Take off the hard limiter. Armenia's number one hit music station. And that's pretty well compressed, but if there were loads of spikes, you'd see the audio properly peaking if I didn't have the hard limiter enabled. Speech volume leveler. Armenia's number one. As you can see, it makes a dramatic difference. Peaking at minus 16 there. Armenia's number one hit music. But then with it on, Armenia's peaking right up at minus two. Brilliant, the speech volume leveler. If you set it up correctly, you can do wonders. Just here you go. Have a have a close up on that speech volume leveler uh, precept. There's only really uh, three main settings you can you can work with here, so it's very easy to set up. That's how I have it set. You can pop down into an advanced menu as well and add a compressor and noise gate, but I find I don't need them so much. And uh, really good news, by the way, if you're looking forward to the next version of Adobe Audition dropping, uh, which should be by the end of the year, uh, they're going to be including uh, a wonderful. Um, 
It's a legacy compressor from Adobe Premiere Pro, and that will have noise gating uh, uh, really easy to set up in it. So I'm excited about that. Dynamics processing here. Again, just a small bit of dynamics processing on the voice. Scientific filter rolling off bass below 100 hertz and a, a de -so just to move any s s uh, sibilant sounds out. So let's enable all of that. Maybe put some studio reverb. Kiss FM. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? And we can um, we can crunch it up even further if we want. Kiss FM. We can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, with uh, radio imaging voiceovers, you probably want to add some distortion in the chain somewhere. So uh, just a tiny bit. I'm not talking about making it sound like, you know, Swamp Thing might do, actually. Kiss FM. No, that's too much. So you've got to keep it subtle. Kiss FM. Keep it very subtle. Kiss FM. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. That's ever so subtle. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. So with distortion. Kiss FM. Without. Kiss FM. Just jazzes it up. The other thing you can do to really make your imaging voices pop out, and I think I might pop that in actually uh, before the multiband compressor. Kiss FM. Yeah, it sounds better that way. Ever so slight, the change there. Uh, you can use um, an exciter, and natively, uh, there is the wonderful isotope neutron that I use a lot, um, but I want to show you with Adobe Audition effects at the moment. Inside mastering, uh, if I set the uh, mastering effect to default, so everything's off now, uh, and I'm only going to use the exciter, I think I'll stick with tube. Tube is good. And as I move that in, uh, let's just play a tagline and move the exciter up so you can hear the difference. Broadcasting in high definition. KissFM.am. So you hear it just makes it brighter. It excites the voice and makes it brighter. So let's try again. Broadcasting in high definition. Cool. I'm going to stay at 40%. I might choose to reduce it later, uh, depending on how we go with the imaging. Um, let's quickly pop together a radio imaging sweep uh, here. Um, we can use some of our effects uh, here kind of uh, stuck in with this at the moment. So FX with tail is a good way to start. And that'll be just perfect. I'm going to drop together a really quick sweep. Uh, this is something, uh, Radio Sweeper is kind of something that you drop in between two tracks uh, to either keep the mood going or change the mood uh, if you're going between a, a fast and a slow song. So, broadcasting. Sometimes it's good to let the effect establish itself for a while before the voiceover comes in. Broadcasting. Broadcasting in high definition. And we might do a uh, kind of echo of high definition. High de and high de high definition. And because I've put, um, by the way, the imaging effects here on the voice effects bus on my Adobe Audition presets, it applies to any vocal track that I'm using here because if I zoom in further, you see all the vocals are going through the voice effects bus, not the music, not the sound effects. So I can really crunch that voice up uh, loads and uh, not have it impact any of the sound effects or whatever. So let's just uh, bring that in. So we just need to find a suitable effect. High definition. Definition. High definition. Maybe bring that down a bit. Definition. Definition. High definition. Just get that to a good level. Definition. definition. High definition. Definition. High definition. Definition. High definition. Definition. And we could make it kind of. We could add some echo on as well. Uh, analog delay, maybe. Let's try it. Solo. High definition. High definition. Maybe that's subtle enough. Let's try. Bro start from the start. Broadcasting in high definition. KissFM.am. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we could probably do with pumping up the feedback a bit more. KissFM.am. Kiss FM um, and we're probably going to need to move the echo down. On the automation channels here. KissFM.am. So then we just thump in with something uh, rather dark effects I'm using today, I know, but hey, it's just uh, just a few experiments here. So we've got Kiss F I definition. Kiss. Not sure whether that's loud enough in the mix. Let's bring that up. Definition. 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 Kiss FM. AM. 
I'm just going to make that effect come in ever so slightly. Definition. KissFM.am. Definition. KissFM.am. And if you want to really emphasize something in imaging, uh, it's always good to sort of double up the tracks. Holding down shift here to keep it so it doesn't move around, but dragging the top of the waveform. And what that will do is allow you to make a copy somewhere. KissFM.am. And we can triple track it as well. Uh, that's actually a chorus. KissFM.am. So really powerful. That's going to cut across anything. Uh, and that's that's ba that's a very basic radio imaging sweeper. Broadcasting in high definition. KissFM.am. Broadcasting in high. And probably tighten up the start of that effect. Broadcasting in high definition. KissFM.am. Yeah, something you could easily drop in between tracks on the radio station you are broadcasting on. So just going to save this session now. Uh, and I wanted to get over to something really exciting to uh, demo to you because I thought you might find it of interest. And uh, if I go over to, let's have a look, DJ Pro. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this and if you've got DJ Pro. I don't know if any other DJ software can do this, but I did talk about in this session I would like to make a, maybe a music imager or two where you have kind of a beat mix of contemporary tracks and you kind of drop in the station name. So it's like, uh, you know, Kiss FM plays this, this, and this. You're listening to Armenia's number one, Kiss FM into the next track kind of thing. And what that does is it reinforces in the mind of the listener uh, that, oh my goodness, you know, Kiss FM, they're playing this current song I like, this song I like, and this song I like. This is my station, and I better stay tuned because they might play that song. And even if they don't play the song, you get the feeling, you get that kind of psychological feeling uh, that you've, you've heard it. So DJ Pro is good uh, for making music images. Why? Well, I have to confess, it's like Spotify for me, right? I love Spotify so much. Like, out of all the streaming music services, I always come back to Spotify. It's it's like the, <laughs> that bad ex you can't get rid of. It's like you, you, you try to break up and then, oh, no, I'm, I'm back again, Spotify, take my money. Because <laughs> it's just Spotify integrates with everything. I've used Apple Music. I've, I've played with Android's um, Google Music and stuff. Um what else is there? There's tons of other uh, Amazon Music, but I always come back to Spotify. Why? Because it has so many integrations, and the feature I'm about to show you in DJ Pro is just the reason I think any radio imaging producer should pay for a Spotify subscription. If you haven't seen this, it'll probably blow your mind. Um, so what you have to do here is link your Spotify account to DJ Pro, which is available in the App Store on, um, on any Mac. And then it allows you to link your Spotify premium account, so you have to have a paid account, with DJ Pro. Now, at the moment, I've just got a blank screen with no songs. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see the library. But this is where the magic happens now. If I go into uh, this one, this gives you like a record library. Now, this gives you access to every single song in the Spotify library, which I think is around 40 million tracks. But this is the killer thing. It gives you BPM information and key information for every song in Spotify's library. So you want to make a beat mix at 120 BPM in the key of G? <laughs> you can do it in seconds using Spotify, uh, rather than thinking, oh, I'm going to get these three hits and they really don't work. I mean, I've believe me, I've worked on music images before where there's like the Eagles Hotel California down at like 108 BPM going into Firestarter by The Prodigy, I kid you not, like up at about 140 BPM. You've either got to make the Beatles sound like they're on something, or you've got to make The Prodigy sound like they're a Firestarter. It's just not good. But now there's no excuses uh, for mismatching keys or BPMs um, because... You can do it all here and grab some really cool stuff. Uh, and I can see in the chat a lot of people saying, yeah, I've got this. It's great for DJs and bits like that. So what I can do is uh, I think there's like a trend icon here. Yeah, trending stuff. Oh, yeah. And you can see all the latest tracks right now. Charts, 100 songs. Here we go. Yeah. So we're looking at the Spotify chart, 100 current songs right now. Um, and then I can see the key of them all and I can see the BPM of every current track. So rather than guessing and going and uh, looking at websites and Googling, uh, what is the BPM of Shape of You by Ed Sheeran? I can just see it right here. Now, if I sort by BPM, look at that. Wow. Okay. Let's go in the middle. Let's go somewhere around 120-ish and see if we can find some nice matching tunes that are going to go together really well. Uh, so I can see... 
it may actually be better to sort by key rather than BPM, I'm thinking, uh, to find songs in the same key. So let's do that, because then we're going to make killer beat mixes here. Because it's it's better, your, your BPM, if that's a little bit off, we can kind of get around that. But if the key's really off, it is going to sound awkward. So let's have a look here. we got some cool stuff here. Oh, look, the, the chain smoker's closer. That's in the key of A flat, 95 BPM. We've got Future Rihanna, Ed Sheeran, all in the same key and around the same BPM as well. Let's have another search and see what else we've got that's going on. Um, here we go. Harry Styles, Sign of the Times, 120 BPM, key of F. Let's see. Let's make a decision on what we're going to use in this music imager. Um, key of B, key of E. Just trying to find some tunes that closely match each other. Or another thing you can do, um, and I'll show you this inside DJ Pro with your Spotify Premium subscription, you can say, you can pick a, if you like, a master track. So you, let's... Um, Let's go back and, and sort it by uh, by numbers and look at some of the top uh, tracks right now. Uh, so what have we got here? Um, it Ain't Me. That's quite a good song. A bit slow. Uh, there's no holding back. Let's have a look for something really good that's contemporary right now. Contemporary and fast, because I want to make a kind of fast music imager. Um... What should we go for? I don't want to live forever. Katy Perry, Bon Appetit. You go for something like that. Let's go for Katy Perry because she's very, very mainstream. So what I'm going to do is go over to Adobe Audition and I'm going to set up, I'm going to arm a music track for recording here. So let's do this. Let's get to the end of there. Music track here, input is going to be stereo output of DJ Pro, arm to record, start recording and start playing Bon Appetit uh, like this. So let's go over to DJ Pro, start that playing. And you should be able to see that it's recording now in there. And you can see the waveform up here. And you can skip through. Here we go. Okay, so I've grabbed just a few hooks out of Bon Appetit Baby by Katy Perry. Now, the killer thing is, if I've got this queued up and I go over to this icon in the bottom right, uh, which you can see is just about, uh, uh, just just covered by my shoulder, it's, it's there. <laughs> if you see it, it's there. That little double CD and it's labeled match. Now, if I go to match, it's going to show me all the songs that kind of match the mood and key of Katy Perry. And so, I, like I was saying, I can use Katy Perry Bon Appetit as my kind of master track. And then I can say, okay, uh, now I want to go, oh, yeah, you can see all the keys as well here. So I can see this song, Unforgettable by French Montana, is also in the key of uh, G flat. Uh, what else have we got? Key of G here, Extra Love. Uh, Worst in Me, Julia Michaels. Let's try that one. Let's see what we got here. When I used to be happy but maybe it's the worst in me It's bringing out the worst in you Here's the hook I know we can fix these kinks But the worst in me doesn't want to work on things But the best in me wants to love you But the worst in me doesn't want to And then I'm going to bring in uh, this one Dua Lupa, or <laughs> whatever her name is, begging
There we go, that's a perfect hook. And I'm going to take that little hook at the end as well, because I can use that at the end of the music imager. And then we can go and have some fun over in Adobe Audition's multi-track. So you see, what I've done there in DJ Pro with my Spotify subscription is identified three tracks that have roughly the same BPM. Uh, in fact, no, they all have virtually exactly the same BPM. And uh, two of the songs are in exactly the same key, uh, and one is just slightly off. So now I've got that all recorded in. Going to normalize those tracks. Oh, and another good thing that I really like about Spotify is... Um, uh, I like the fact that uh, it works in 320 kilobits per second, so everything is all um, really nice quality as well, which is important. Uh, so let's have a look now. We've got... That's Katy Perry, so let's grab her. So we've got this, we've got... Now for some reason it didn't record... Oh, why did it not record the other track? Probably, probably because... It was in the other area. Where's that? Where's that coming? Where's that coming from? Yeah, that is coming from there. But we didn't get Julia Michaels for some reason uh, recorded into Adobe Audition. Or maybe we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, phew. I thought for a moment we didn't get one of the tracks, but we got everything. Uh, so now, just look at how easy it's going to be to uh, mesh these songs together. I'm going to drop in a few extra tracks as well, so we've got plenty of space to play with. Uh, all going to be music tracks here. So that'll be the first one, because I'm all that you want, boy. And we usually go for, I think, four bars is good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. So we're going to cut into the next track there. So it's uh, four bars essentially of each track. And then let's find the next bit. So we're going to then go into this. And this should almost be seamless, this crossover. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Wow, that's already sounding like it's going to mesh really nicely. Obviously, a, a few tricks that we can introduce later to make this really glue together. Um, but already, half the work is done for you if you can pick songs in the same key and the same BPM. So let's just take a listen to how that sounds. You hear how that just flows? It's a proper beat mix. Perfect. You almost don't need to do anything to cover up that edit. I'm just going to make sure that those BPMs are exactly on. I'm pretty sure that... Look, look at how well those beats match up. Look, there's there's one beat, there's another beat, boom, bang on. Uh, so that's going to work nicely in my imager. And then Dewey Looper is going to end it all off with this. So we're going to take that. Uh, so let's again count this again. Go through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And that's where we're going to bring the next track in. So always four bars to give the song enough room to establish itself uh, and sound good in the uh, imager. And that's beat one there. Now let's just check if, again, our beats are on, on point here. This track's a little more compressed, so it's harder to see the beats. Um, yeah, I think we're slightly, slightly, are we slightly faster there with Dewey Looper in BPM, in terms of BPM? Uh, let's have a look. Let's just bring this down a bit. Uh, 106, 106. No, they're both exactly 106 BPM, so, which is what I would expect. So that's going to just, it should just glue. Let's try it. Perfect. And we can have one underlying beat at 106 as well. So again, uh, rather than counting the beats this time, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to copy this over here and uh, bring that up there. So we're working up to about that point. Okay. Let's see. Mute that out for the moment because I'm using that as a template. And yeah, I want to really, I really want to get to that part of the song. So maybe, 
one. So that's where I want to be ending. So I want to come in somewhere around here instead, maybe. So we're starting from this beat. So we're starting from curves one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. And then the image is going to end there. So I want to come in from that point, really, and then I get a nice ending. It's always nice to start with a bit of music at the start, so you can uh, mention the radio station name and then end with a bit of music at the end, so you can wind the imager down and get into the next track. Uh, so let's have a listen. So we want to get this. And that's beat one there, isn't it? So we need to tighten that up a little bit, and we're going to have to bring Dewey Looper in a little early. Ah. Not quite as clean as we need it to be yet. We need her saying cuz, otherwise it's not going to meld, is it? I'll get rid of that guide template now. Try and match this up a little bit better. Don't worry about the fact that that's kind of overlapping in a weird way at the moment. We can do something with it. And we're going to do a cheeky edit because I... Let's try and get this cheeky edit working well uh, for Dewey Looper. Here we go. Where are we here? So a bit of a crossfade there to get to the ending music. And that's what I'll say, Amenia's number one hit music station, KISS FM, like that. And then obviously, with the Katy Perry bit, we need a bit of... And I wonder... Let's um, see what we've got here. One, oh, start from the start. Here we go, count it in. And one... see how much of the intro we want to use on our music imager here. Might just be the first bar. Let's make sure this matches. So we do a, a quick intro, and again, I'm sort of piecing this all together on the fly. This is KISS FM. Let's uh, paste that in somehow. Let's move that down to around here. And again, it'd be nice to calculate how long we want and set our echo track up. So 577. Five seven seven and one one three nine. Five seven seven and one one three nine on the echo rack. One one three nine. Okay. Kiss FM. So you hear the echo coming in there, and then let's just try this as the intro to our music imager for the radio station here. So we've got this here. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. 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 Kiss FM. Kiss FM. And um, like I was doing yesterday, it might well be worth to um, copy a. Mm, no, not copy. Um, Let's think what we're going to do here. We're going to, yes, we are going to copy this up here to the top and we're going to bounce that. Copy and then bounce this bit here. Multi track, bounce, uh, select eclipse only. So we get a bounce of that. FM. And then we can do auto tune on it. We know we're in the key of G flat, so normalize it up. And I was using this yesterday and absolutely loving it. Um, 
effect waves, waves tune light, and you can do things like this. Kiss FM. Okay, so there's Kiss FM. Oh, I didn't pick up the FM bit. Kiss FM. Or did it? Oh, I did. Huh. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. So let's just try moving this all up. Is it going to play ball? Let's find out. We can only find out by moving these things around. So again, with uh, Waves Tune Light, we're moving everything uh, into a, a similar area, although I think it's going to make him sound like Darth Vader. Let's try it. Kiss FM. Whoa, yeah. Kiss FM. Sometimes it does that. Let's just clear this and go back to default and rescan it. Kiss FM. Huh. Yeah, it's got a little bit up the top there, which is a bit weird. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to work with that. The way we can work with that, because it's about two octaves higher, we'll start work up here on this bit and select those bits and move them together. And we'll go down two octaves and find the other bits and move them together like that. And this last bit here could probably do with moving this together and this together and then this and this and we'll get something kiss fm yeah that's much more natural zooming out for a second so we can see what we've got here on the fly ready to go where is it there it is everything's there yeah looking good did we get everything there let's check yes there it all is uh and then select all flatten it so it sounds kiss fm and once we've done that clear the selection oh no undo that that's it. Now we're not selecting anything in Waves Tune Light, and we want to go to the key of G. Uh, what are we doing here? Did I say the key of G or A? G minor. Kiss FM. And we could um, tune him up a little bit. Kiss. Kiss. Kiss FM. Or maybe this is going to go a bit wonky. What <laughs> worries me that it's going wonky? Just finding the right notes here. Kiss FM. Or we could go down. Kiss FM. Let's bring that down too. Down here. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't. We won't go too far with the tuning on that because I'm kind of not liking what I'm getting there, and that's okay. Kiss FM. Now, what I wanted to do with this music image, and now we've got the kind of Kiss FM, and it's going to demo these uh, three tracks. I am going to go into uh, Logic, actually. I'm going to go into Logic for a brief split second and create something to make this image flow even better. And while Logic boots up and we get over there to do what I'm going to do in just a moment, I would like to go back and take a look at what you have been saying in the comments. Uh, so don't be shy. Uh, come and introduce yourself over in the comments if you are watching live uh, and just yeah just generally let me know uh, what brings you here why you're here and uh, what you hope to, to get out of today or generally out of any of the shows that you tune into so I can see Alexander's watching uh, on YouTube Keith Duller as well uh, thanks so much Keith for the kind compliments Steve says howdy from Dallas Texas Capel's in as well it's nice to see you uh, I got some nice chats going on uh, from Casino Duckling and David over on Twitch as well uh, over on my personal Facebook page as well. It's nice to see Juan's in there. Uh, we've got Jane as well. Hello to you, Jane, and David Hunter, uh, looking after things nicely over in that area. And then over on uh, YouTube Live, a uh, ton of great stuff going on there, lots and lots of chat. Um, somebody asked earlier, what's an effective uh, microphone uh, for voiceover artists just getting started? Is Blue Yeti good for voiceover? And I said no. And some wonderful suggestions coming in from the community, uh, including Bojan uh, uh, suggesting some really good um, uh, mics like the AT4050, uh, Shure SM7B as well, stuff like that, MXL990, uh, really, really cool stuff. Um, we've got Christopher Pendy in as well. Nice to see you there. Hey, hey, hey. Patrick Keller, hey, nice to see you as well. Apologies if I miss any comments 
points, by the way. I'm going through and uh, getting to as many as I can. Uh, Patrick says, I loved my 990 with my voice. Unfortunately, always had a bit of a harm. Oh, it's a shame. If you do want to grab Waves plugins, discount of 10% at mrc.fm slash waves for you. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, a lot of microphone discussion going on in the chat today. Um, anything else of significance right now? Benny Boy's in saying, afternoon, hope all's well. Been busy, but great to be watching you live. Uh, cool music, says Paul Anthony. Uh, Jemaya MD, hi from Indonesia. Nice to have you watching. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, some really cool uh, shortcut tips there from David and uh, Robert saying it's the wrong music for my radio station well that's the best thing if you've got a Spotify subscription and you're using something like DJ Pro you have access to all 40 million tracks in Spotify so you're guaranteed at some point to find something uh, that you like that's going to be compatible I'm going to put in uh, a drummer uh, to Logic and we want to go for ooh, something um, let's use hip hop and uh, create a drummer track and all we really need to do with this is create it at 106 BPM so taking it up to 106 we get something like this we can choose what we want to use that's nice we just got kick snare probably take the claps out actually and I actually might take the, uh, the snare Hmm, interesting. Uh, I can take the fills out, so we just get a basic drum beat. Uh, mess about with the formation of these. That would be quite good. And let's let's pull this out. Actually, how many bars are we going on for? We're going on for. Uh, I seem to remember there, and then there up until about the end of bar 12, aren't we? So we can actually have a fill in, because maybe a fill at the end would be good. A fill is where the drummer kind of freestyles at the end. Let's turn the fills right up and have a listen. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe take the fills down, that was a bit too much, wasn't it? Cool, okay. Uh, and then I will simply uh, highlight all of that drum beat up until about there, and I'll export that drum beat. Uh, selection as audio file. Going down uh, into my downloads folder, please, uh, like so. Export it, and then I should just be able to drag this over into Adobe Audition. Uh, there it is, it's called Untitled. And this should glue seamlessly uh, with the uh, music that I'm beat mixing here for this imager, and it should work. Uh, let's move that onto a new track. Turning it out so you can hear it. So you can hear that beat going continuously through the image, yeah? And as you can hear the beat ends. Now, obviously, I had that way too loud. I would definitely pull that down in the mix. But that keeps things going. Now, um, how about in this music imager here, uh, where we have uh, Dewey Looper trying to come in over the top of a song, but they kind of clash a little bit, don't they? See, that's, that's a bit clashy. Even though it's on beat, there's just a little clash there that we can fix up. And um, the way I can do this, this is just this is my go-to plugin at the moment uh, for any kind of... Um, cool stuff. Now we can do this one two ways. One knob filter is what I'm going to use. You've seen me using this yesterday. It's really good. One knob over on that side and again on the other track uh, we want to go back in uh, effect waves uh, one knob filter. This is a waves audio plugin and you can do a little automation with both tracks by bringing that one knob in. Uh, so the filter and again the filter and we can do something that works a little bit like this. So we bring this down. Let's solo this. See so here. Now I've got a feeling it's one knob filter mono. Let's make it make sure it's stereo. Otherwise it only does it to one, one side of the track. Must have uh, 
selected the wrong one there. Over on the other side, that is stereo. Okay, cool. Let's bring it back in. One knob, uh, filter envelopes, and we'll just go like this, this, and this. So you're kind of like just filtering it away. And then you can do, you can do the same the other side with Dewey Looper. We'll actually maybe make, bring this out. Um, what I'm thinking here is uh, rather than the one knob on that, it might warrant a little bit of reverb instead. Because she sings two. Yeah, so we can actually cut that early, bring that to a new track again. I'm going to place a little bit of reverb on it and kind of wash it out. So uh, Dewey Looper suddenly gets all the glory there. Uh, hang on, reverb, studio reverb. Uh, and let's bring the wetness right up and the dry down. So that's the, the reverb effect. And then mix that together. Let's bring this out a bit more and see whether we can play with this. Maybe extend this out a bit. Bring that down. And obviously we're working with the, uh, the beat of this track. And again, we could probably use one knob filter over here on this. Uh, so let me see if I can plug that in here. Uh, effect. And we've got uh, waves again. One knob filter stereo. And I'll place that here because this is probably going to work quite well here. So it just kind of cuts off there. And if you if you're feeling really courageous at this point, you could do something that kind of um, jolts the listener and makes them think, "What on earth is going on there?" That's some crazy imaging. Um, and I'm just going to try this, try and keep it on beat, see how it sounds. Let's bring that into a quarter of a beat. Do something similar again, and then we'll look at an eighth of a beat. Just so we kind of make it a little more imaging e, and less sort of just straightforward. Maybe not. Uh, I think we need to move those closer together if we're going to do something like this. So that might work, and... Um, we could also do something like this to filter it a bit. And we could um, we could drop in a, an image voice here just saying kiss at that point. Oh, let's copy it rather than move it. Um, just to remind the listener of the station name. About here. Kiss. So it'd be like this. Uh, and then I'm going to find another part of the voice here. Kiss FM. Let's take Kiss FM and throw that in somewhere as well. What about here? What about what about there? Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Shall we put it there or there? 
Kiss FM. That works. Um, we can make it stereo by double tracking it onto the chorus. Um, all right, let's copy this. Oh, yeah, copy here. Kiss FM. So, so far we've got this for our music imager. Let's have a listen. This the start. is. That's the bit I didn't use, by the way. Kiss FM. Just going to bring the volume down on that a bit. Kiss FM. Perfect. And we need a tagline at the end saying something like... Armenia's in one hit music... Armenia's number one hit music station. Kiss FM. That'll do. And we want to post that at the end of the imager here. Uh, let's pop that in on Echo again. Armenia's number one... There, about there. That's where it needs to come in. Armenia. No. Armenia's. Ar Armenia's. Maybe there. Armenia's number one hit music station. Armenia's number one hit. Hit music. Hit music station. Hit music. Hit. Well, let's cut this and bring this up somewhere else. Uh, like so. Number one hit music station. Hit number one hit music station. Double track it, maybe. Ah, messed up the timing. Hang on. Let's bring that in like that. Number one hit music station. Kiss F And this would be a good point to, uh, to drop in uh, a listener voiceover. Actually, I wonder if we got something like that on air sweepers. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, got it there. Awesome. Whoa. Okay. We need on air sweepers. Let's bring that into my downloads folder. Open that up. And uh, here it is. So we can just drag in, uh, let's see, my favorite kind of music. Let's have a listen to some of the dries. If we've got something there that's usable, why can't I hear anything? Every song, like, totally rocks. Uh, it's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. So we'd use something like that, possibly. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. That's cool. And we'll, um, we'll use this uh, maybe, hmm, maybe here on a dry track, because that's already processed. Hit music station. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM. So we'd have something like that, or maybe let's drag it out a bit more. Hang on. Uh, it's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. Just going to save, 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 save. Yep. Reload it. Sometimes it gets a bit laggy on me. Station. Uh, it's awesome. Station. Uh, it's awesome. Station. It's awesome. Station. It's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. That down in the mix. My kind of music. Kiss FM. It's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss F. F FM. Kiss FM. FM. 
FM. Don't quite like the way that ends, so I'm going to actually erase that part and then put an impact in as well. That's too much. That's better. Let's use that. So we got something like this. It's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM. And uh, that would be the end, uh, but there's a little gap that we need to fill. Ah, perfect. Just when you need it. Uh, we can drop that in between the end of my kind of music and the Kiss FM. Just a little filler. And of course, I need a new track. Uh, let's move it down there. Kiss FM. Don't know if that needs to be so impactful that uh FM SFM Let's bring that down in the mix a little bit. My kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM. Okay, so we got something there that we can use and let's use this. Is. Let's use this to get into the music imager now, like so. Yes, FM. Maybe we can double that up. FM. FM. No, maybe not. Yes, FM. Bring that down in amplitude. Yes, FM. Armenia's number one hit music station. It's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM. So that's a basic uh, imager there for a radio station. I'm just going to do some tightening up because there's one part of the um, the imager there I'm not quite happy with. I will get back to that in just a moment. But uh, meanwhile, let's hop over and uh, see what you have been saying in the wonderful uh, chat. Natasha's watching. Morning to you from Ontario in Canada. Kurland as well. Good morning to you. Terence, awesome stuff. Learning lots here in Zambia. Jack White as well, tuned in from Connect FM Kettering. Stelling I Stella Oh, stealing ideas. Thank you. This is my crystal from music radio Gosh, Jack, I thought you said stellar ideas and then I read stealing ideas. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, greetings to Jesus, who's in Atlanta, Georgia as well. Nice to see you. Uh, Jack White, yeah, loads of cool people. Uh, you're listening to Mike Russell on Kiss FM, says David Hunter. Uh, Strap Maniac wants to know, do I do work by request? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, you can go to musicradiocreative.com. Uh, if you're interested in uh, hiring either myself or uh, one of the audio producers or many uh, talented voiceover artists or jingle singers we have, have. And if you use the coupon code MRC Live when you check out there, you get 10% off anything on our store, even if it's an instant download or some imaging elements. 10% off across the board. Use the coupon code MRC Live at musicradiocreative.com. Thanks, Robert, for the encouragement. Robert Doman there. Uh, Manuel says, um, I use one knob, alters the audio even when it's at 10. I, I leave it in bypass when not using. Interesting. That's that's good information. David, thank you for sharing the number. Shall I play that number just one more time? Because I thought you might really want to know. Just in case you want to call me during the last six minutes of this live stream, you can do. There is a phone-in number to get live on the air with me and have a chat. Call this number in the next five minutes. 415 And plus one, if you're outside the United States, check with the bill payer before you make the call. Yeah, if I'm uh, streaming live, you'll get straight through to the studio.
If not, then you just get a voicemail. Uh, Prabhjit is there as well. Jari, nice to see you. Slick transitions. Thanks very much. Uh, what about reverse effecting on Katy Perry at the beginning of the track? Whoa. Uh, and yes, David Hunter's pointed out about Mac and Windows as well. I'm aware I do go very Mac heavy uh, with software just because there's really cool stuff uh, for creatives on the Mac. I'm sure there are equivalents on, on Windows PCs as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Mac is just where it's at. Oh, I see what you mean about the uh, reverse reverb. That's actually a cool idea. Let's add that into the mix. Then I want to try and clean up that uh, Dewey Looper uh, transition as well. So that's Katie there saying kism. And then we're going to put in, what are we going to do here? Edit, insert silence of about 10 seconds. We'll place the marker over here. Uh, right, let's just go in here. And uh, thanks, Natasha. Natasha on Facebook Live is saying, I think I might do what I did yesterday, rewatch later, so I can start from the beginning. It's a great tool for fellow producers. Thanks for doing this. Well, Natasha, thank you for the encouragement. It really encourages me, uh, when, especially when I see someone, uh, I don't recognize your name, so either you're, you're new or you haven't commented before. Uh, really exciting to hear from you, Natasha, so thank you for that. And Juan says, hola desde España. Uh, watching in, uh, in Spain there. That's awesome. Uh, studio reverb here. Let's make a nice long... What have we got here? Yeah. Let's turn, turn the weight up a bit. Uh, effects, reverse it back. And let's place that into the mix of our imager here and see what we can get out of that. Was that untitled one? I've got a feeling it is. Um, let's find an empty space to drop it into, which is probably going to be here. FM. So we want to line this up with the original. So it comes in really nicely. Like that, really sweet. And we'll get that reverse reverb effect now. Kiss FM. Not loud enough, can't hear it. Let's normalize it. We go back. FM. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Well done. Nice call, Paul Anthony. Kiss FM. Just to show you how that's sounding when it's dry, it's kind of sounding like this. Really cool, really good call. S F this is why I love doing these live streams because you often give me really good ideas on the fly. Kiss FM. And then I did want to clean up that uh, transition here. Kiss FM. Uh, instead of going want to, I'm just going to do a strange, funny cut here, funny edit. Uh, let's see if I can match it to the beats that are going on down here, down below. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about making this transition here. 553 five, divided by 2, 276, 276, about there. Let's just see if we can make this tidier. Just not kind of happy yet with things, but I think it could get better. This is either going to make it better or completely ruin it further <laughs> but it's worth to try uh okay kiss fm kiss fm kiss fm kiss fm let's let's go even nuttier than that let's just really glitch it out because i just think the transition isn't really clean enough at the moment i'm kind of going ocd now i know but uh it's important Kiss FM. Kiss FM. We need probably a transition like a, a wipe or something. If I had more time, I'd be able to sort of perfect this further, but I'm trying to make that transition as clean as I can. Kiss FM. Let's bring that down. Kiss FM. Kiss FM. Okay, well, that's. I would probably go further with that edit, but anyway. Uh, as you've heard, um, I have shown you in this uh, stream uh, basically how to put on some nice imaging uh, voice effects, vocal effects, uh, how to make a basic radio imaging sweeper that sounds a bit like this. Broadcasting in high definition. KissFM.am. 
So that's a basic radio sweeper. And also, let's let's end the show today. Go and join us, by the way, after the show and chat online at community.musicradiocreative.com. I'll end the show on this uh, music imager I made just now during the live stream for KISS FM Armenia. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. KISS FM. Armenia's number one hit music station. It's awesome. It's all about my kind of music. My kind of music. Kiss FM.